Okay, so now we're going to look at the guided practice. They want us to, for the first two, name the postulate or theorem. That leads us to conclude the triangles are similar, and then write a similarity statement. Well, let's see here. I see where angle P is congruent to angle T. And then we have a couple of right angles down here. So let's see, that's an angle, that's an angle. So these are similar by angle, angle, similarity. And we could say triangle TSQ is similar to triangle. Let's see, I said T, S, and then Q. So start with P because they both have a mark in them. Then go to S and then R. P, S, R. There's number one. Number two, they only give us signs. So we've got to check our ratios here. Well, let's see, I'm going to go with the biggest side first. That's so going to be 10 over 20. And then, let's see, I'm going to go with 8 next. The next smallest is 16. And then 6 over 12. What do all of these reduce to? One half. They're all the same, so these are similar by side, side, side similarity. So we can say triangle DEF is similar. So DEF, similar to triangle JKL. There we go. Number three, we have to explain why the triangles are similar and then find each link. So they ask us to find PS. That's our task, P.S. First, we have to say how they're similar, though. Well, they share angle P, so I'm going to mark it. They tell us angle R and angle T are congruent. So these are similar by angle, angle, similarity. So let's do our ratio. I'm going to do the three over the four. Because I know both those sides. Now, I know both the sides, but if I look at the side that's got the three on the small triangle, that goes with, on the big triangle, PS, which is X plus three. So I have to put that on top, x plus 3 over, and then x plus 5 is the base, just like the 4 is. So I know it looks intimidating, but the same thing applies. You just cross multiply. So I'm going to do 4 times x plus 3, and then 3 times x plus 5. So 4 times x plus 3 equals 3 times x plus 5. Distribute the 4. 
So you get this 4x plus 12 equals distribute to 3. We get 3x plus 15. Move the 3 over. X plus 12 equals 15. Subtract 12. And we're going to end up with X equals 3. Do they ask us just for X? No. They ask us for PS, which is 3 plus X. X is 3. 3 plus 3 gives us 6. So PS is equal to 6. Okay, now for WY. WY is right here. I'm going to call that X. Okay, so WY. Let's see. First, we have to say how they're congruent. Or not congruent, similar. We've got some vertical angles, so let's mark those. Those are automatic. Then we've got some parallel lines right here, which means there's some there's a transversal. I could say these two are alternate interior. So this one's also similar by angle angle similarity. I just now thought of this, but this is going way back. So if you remember in unit two, when we discovered trigonometric ratios, we said that all right triangles with the same acute angles are similar by angle-angle similarity. This is what they're talking about. Two angles are the same, so the triangles are all similar for right triangles. But this is the similarity they were talking about way back then. I kind of said, oh, you may not get it now, but you'll understand when you're older. You're older. So, yeah. Anyways, back on track. So I'm going to do 7 over 9. 7 over 9. 7 was between the two markings. Go with the one between the two markings. 8.75 over x. So 7 times x is equal to 9 times 8.75. Just 9 times 8.75 gives us 78.75. Divide by 7, and we get x equals 11.25, which since x is wy, this is what wy equals, 11.25. Okay. Number five, the picture shows a person taking a pinhole photograph of himself. Light entering the opening reflects his image on the wall, forming similar triangles. What's the height of the image to the nearest tenth of an inch? So we know how deep the box is. We know the box is 15 inches deep. What they're asking us to find is how tall is he on the picture? So I'm going to call that X.
another issue we have. If you notice your box, your box is in inches. Everything else is in feet and in inches. We can convert to feet and have small numbers for a bunch of decimals. Or we can convert to inches and have all whole numbers. I like whole numbers. So let's convert to inches. Four feet. Well, let's back up. One foot is 12 inches. So four feet would be 48 inches. Then we have six more. So 48 plus six gives us 54 inches. Five feet would be 60 inches plus five. That gets us 65 inches. Now we have all whole numbers. We can be happy. Be so happy. Okay. So now let's set up our proportions. 54 over 65 equals. So I did 54. I did the, the height, if you will, of the triangle. Or I guess the depth. I should say, the depth of the triangle over the person's height. So now I need to do the depth of the box, which is 15 over the picture height. We're going to call it X. And so now we cross multiply 54 times X equals 15 times 65. It's going to be 54x equals, let's see, 65 times 15, 975, divide by 54, and we get x equals 18.056 and some change. But it says round to the nearest tenth. So this becomes 18.1 inches. There we go. Okay, let's see. Number six. Find the length of the segment. So six ask us to find the length of DG. Okay, remember, this is where they're proportional. So we can say 32 over 24 equals 40 over X. And then cross multiply. So 32 times X equals 24 times 40. Let's see, that's 48, that's 960. Yep, got it. 960 divided by 32. be 30. It is 30. X is 30. So our X was simply DG. So that means DG is equal to, you got it, 30. Okay, now for seven, R N. There's R N right there. That one's X. So five over eight equals X over 10. 
cross multiply. Eight times X equals five times 10. So eight X equals 50. Divide by eight. And we get X equals, it will be a decimal, 6.25. So that means Rn is equal to 6.25. Okay, there's our guided practice. So this was the last day of new material for unit six. Uh, we've got a test coming up at the end of the week. So with that being said, remember, you are loved. You are awesome, and you were created to do wonderful things. Always believe.